man. I wish I could come, man. But you already know, man, I got a whole lot of stuff I need to do, too. But let me tell you, Koala, you and Jay, man, y'all doing y'all thing on that spot. I'm telling you, man, the spot 91, man, that's a whole hit, man. I'm telling you, man, everybody want to see all the hottest topics coming in every Tuesday at 5 to 6. Right there on Facebook, right there on Facebook, IG, all over the place, man. You feel me? Yo, y'all need to keep doing that. Hey, oh, man, hey, hold on, man. I'm so sorry, y'all. You feel me? Hey, Koala, man. Hey, right now, the guest here, man, you already know I got to let them know what's going on, man. You already know Young Pharaoh going crazy right now. I'm t yeah, I'm telling you, man, throwing shots at everybody, even Derek Grace. Yeah, even General Seti. But listen, I'm going to get right into it, man. All right? All right, man. Hey, man, what's good, man? You already know what it is, man. It's your boy Kareem Sativ Hotep coming at you. You already know. I don't know how much you heard, but let me tell you, you need to tune in because it's going down. I hope you got a high frequency because it might lower this time because this is some drama. Young Pharaoh, what's going on with you? Let's talk about it right here on Real Niggas News. All right, peace kings and queens. Before we start this episode, man, I just want to let you know that this episode is brought to you by The Spot 91, hosted by my boy, Koala305 and my boy Jay. Right there, man. Y'all can find them on Instagram. I'm going to throw their Instagram down there in the comments below. You feel me? You already know, man. Every Tuesday, man, from 5 to 6 p.m. Eastern time, you can catch them on Instagram live. And if you and if you can't catch them on Instagram live, y'all make sure y'all subscribe to their YouTube channel, The Spot 91, which also is going to be right there in the description below. All right. So like I said, man, if you haven't heard, Young Pharaoh is been getting loose. You've seen it. If you don't know who Young Pharaoh is by now, you've been living under a rock. We know Young Pharaoh for exposing the deep state. We know Young Pharaoh for basically teaching us about our ancestors. Young Pharaoh is really known in the conscious community. You feel what I'm saying? And he's he's been He's been doing his thing, man. He got his own website. He got his website that's really popping, man. Y'all make sure y'all go to Otten University. I'm a proud student of Otten University. I've been an Otten student since, i say, about last year. You feel me? And it's just about, what, 39 40 uh, 30 I think it's really like $39. $39 a month. $39 a month. And I'm not going to lie. You feel me? You're not going to be disappointed. You, you're you not going to be disappointed. If you're really into knowledge, that's the place to go. You feel what I'm saying? But like I said, man, everybody has his day. Every leader has his day. And right now, man, it's, it's, it's about Young Pharaoh. And a lot of questions has been getting thrown around. Ever since Young Pharaoh got back on YouTube after being deleted from YouTube and Instagram. And now that he's back, he's not the same Young Pharaoh. You feel what I'm saying? And and I somewhat agree with what's going on and how he's handling stuff. But at the same time, I really don't. You feel me? And this is coming from a person that really, you feel me, admires Young Pharaoh as a person, as an intellectual. So, this is coming through right from the bottom of the heart. This is some true stuff right here. You feel me? He's been throwing shots at a lot of his 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 close friends. You feel me? A lot of his close friends. You feel me? We're talking about double R to God. We heard him say something about double R to God. You feel me? We heard him say something about, you know, golden baby mama, his, his two baby mamas. You feel me? Um, but the one that really 
I really didn't agree with, the one that I really didn't agree with, was the general SETI comments. I heard SETI took me down off his university. Why you do that? What's your problem, SETI? Because I sent you $10,000 on your birthday. And that was everybody. So you, was you on that live stream? No. Was you on that? No, I, I, think, I, I did a I live stream with, I I did a live stream with SETI on my old YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Anybody that was on there will tell you I sent him some money live on the YouTube. Mm -hmm. I never said to him. I sent that man 10 bands. 10 bands. Nigga don't even answer when I call the phone. Nigga don't even answer. I call that nigga right now on his radio. He on his on his recording. He ain't gonna answer. What's your fucking problem? So I just wanna let all y'all niggas know from the black community who turned y'all back on me. Kiss my ass. Fuck y'all niggas. Fuck me. Fuck you. I don't give a fuck, bitch. You feel me? The general SETI comment was not really rocking with me because y'all like this. You feel me? And we need general SETI. You feel me? Especially, especially at these times, man. We need general SETI. You feel me? You see them gray hairs on them. You feel me? This is no joke. I might smile, but it's, it's some true shit. You see the gray hairs. You feel me? He ain't he ain't old, but remember, man, he becoming an elder. You feel what I'm saying? And with that being said, General Seti, man, been spitting fire since I know. You feel me? Since I know. Back in 2008, when I was in high school, it, it just hurt my heart to see, you feel me? How you snapped on General Seti like that. Because that's the general. That's like, that's like if General Seti snapped on Dr. Ben. Like, I see you, like, I see you, Dr. Ben, you, da 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 before Dr. Ben passed, you feel me, in, in, in general, said he, say, man, I see that, general, I see that, Dr. Ben, man, fuck that, man, fuck that, I'm out here, you feel me, y'all y'all don't want to support what I'm doing right now, Dr. Ben, fuck you, that's like general saying that, you feel me, that's like, that, that's, that, that's how I felt, like, damn, bro, you, like, you feel me, that was your dog, you feel me, but, like I said, me, how I think, I don't. I, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I really don't think that is 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 is. I, I I'm gonna tell you the truth. I think it's all entertainment right now. I think it's all entertainment. You feel me? And that's why I'm still supporting Young Pharaoh because I, I I I I got a good hunch that this is just for entertainment. You feel what I'm saying? But how far is too far? When it comes to trying to get a view. You know what I mean? More Grace. If y'all don't know who More Grace is, she is the wife of the king, the Florida boy that came up, millionaire, started from nothing, gave us a gave us a household, gave us a a a a a a, a house known uh what is it called? A house a household game. For us to learn finances and about business. Self-made millionaire. Really a, a really strong, a really strong leader in the black community. He's not really conscious, but I can tell that he knows his shit. Well, just recently, his wife decides to get an eye of Horace tattoo tatted right at her eye. Young Phil just got that tattoo done. So, Young Phil sees this. And y'all know how Young Phil is, man. He want his props. Give my dog his props. <laughs> Give my nigga his props. Now look prop. at Derek Grace. He cut the comments off, though. Appreciate the hospitality, bro. Why did this nigga broad go steal my... Bro, and I know you know because you in the background, Derek. Nigga, why y'all, why you let that woman take my tattoo? My queens is supposed to have this. You not the pharaoh. You not the pharaoh. I'm the pharaoh. Listen here, sweetheart. You got to, listen here. Unless you about to come over here and be a nigga queen or something, you going to have to do something about that. We not jacking it. We going to clown you every day on the internet that you got that on your face. <laughs> Yo, my dog was that. Matter of fact, wrote a clip. Niggas for years, but you see, I'm over here doing some authentic shit. Not only don't you support, you gonna let your your bra steal my shit? Listen here, listen here. Somebody better cover that shit up, or else I'm a. She must want to be my broad, cause that's how I'm taking it. Cause my bro, my my queens want that tattoo. We ain't stealing, my nigga. I ain't never been robbed, extorted, extorted, nor robbed. 
Don't steal my shit. Don't steal my shit. Don't don't do that. Cause y'all about to have me get back on my bullshit. Y'all about to have me get back on my bullshit. Real not only wants to put that out, he wants to fight. He's trying to fight. I want a celebrity fight with Derek Grace. Let's get it. And I want his girl to fight Martina. Let's go. Me, me and Martina versus Derek Grace. I got 10 bands on us. What's up? I would understand how young, why a young Pharaoh would do that. You feel what I'm saying? Because let me give you this scenario. You ready? Young Pharaoh just did an interview with Nick Cannon. Right? He just did an interview with Nick Cannon about a couple months ago. Now, Nick, he just gave Nick Cannon a fire interview. We only seen at least, I'll say about three minutes of it. And that's all we get. I know it had to be like a good little hour interview, half hour interview, because all of Cannon's class episodes is like a good, a, a, a good ass minute, 20, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, you feel me? So I know, and I know Young Firo. Young Firo can talk for hours and still give you information, information for hours. You get what I'm saying? So you got to understand where Young Firo's coming from. We had a lot of people in the past steal Young Firo's work. That white boy that stole Young Firo's work. Then you had NLE Chopper stole Young Pharaoh's song. Then he does an interview with Nick Cannon. Gives him information. Don't even put the interview out there. And basically, I'm going to tell you right now. Nick Cannon basically stole his information. And he's going to go and use it. And he's going to go regurgitate it. Everything that Young Pharaoh said. So now all that is going through his mind. Then, out of nowhere, his channel gets taken down. Over 300,000 subscribers get taken down. Lectures. Over 100 hours of lectures. He had a five-hour lecture. I remember that lecture. Five hours. I tuned in the whole five hours. Started from the beginning of slavery. How we found out. That's how a lot of you niggas found out that the Arabs was the first slave master. All the way to current times. Five hours. Took that down. People trash talking him. Now he loses this. Now he loses this stuff. We don't know what's been going on with Golden, with Golden Beauty and his other baby mama. You feel me? But now we got that. Now we got Golden Beauty going on on her page and on her channel, snapping, doing her thing. You feel me? You got him trying to defend himself. Because right now, they're not going to defend Young Pharaoh. Because right now, a lot of people see Young Pharaoh as a young Malcolm X. Let's just be honest. And he's in, and, and it's not, and it's not those damn crystals and stones. Those crystals and stones and coppers and gold type ass conscious niggas. It's, it's niggas like me that's not even, that, that, that wasn't even conscious at one point. That's not even, probably not even conscious now. And, and that's, that's hitting with information and, and that's now turning a new leaf. And, and I'm going hard for my ancestors type shit. You feel me? So now niggas is going trash talking. So now he got all this going in. All this going in his head. And, 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 and now... His friends, Double R, you feel me, saying that he's crazy. Nigga saying that he's crazy, you feel me, because he done ate some shrooms. You feel what I'm saying? And, 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 and damn near stabbed a girl in the face. Am I stabbing you? No. No. You see how she's not scared? Real knife. Don't play with me. See how she got scared? You cannot fake fear! We just gonna we just gonna skip past that there, okay? Like I said, and like I said, 
There's some stuff that I don't agree with that young Pharaoh did. But there's a lot of stuff that I do agree with that young Pharaoh is doing. You feel what I'm saying? That wasn't something that I agreed with, even if he was trying to make a point. It was just, it just looked, it kind of, you feel me? Wow. But boom, jumping off topic, jumping right back on. He goes on the internet after he gets this tattoo and he sees this beautiful queen busting with this tattoo. And he goes off. By the way, the tattoo was nice. I liked it. He goes off. Wow. I'm going crazy right now when I see when I seen that. I'm like, yo, this nigga just that he's going hard. Like, and, and you know how I am. Cause I'm like, dang, bro, why would you do that? Because I'm a Florida boy, bro. And I knew I, I knew of Derek Grace before I even knew Young Pharaoh. You feel me? Um, and I fuck with, I fuck with Derek Grace, bro. That's that, I fuck with him. I fuck with him. You feel me? So I'm going to be honest. Like, you know, I, 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 it, I just feel like I got to sit. I, I can't be, I, I'm the one that I, I can't be biased, bro. I got to be straight real. You feel me? I got to be straight real. You feel me? Like. I can't be like I can't try to I, I don't wanna I don't wanna talk about young Pharaoh and and Derek Grace in 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 to make it seem like I'm down in Derek Grace cause that's cause that's my that's that boy too, but I fuck with him, dog. I'm be honest with you, bro. You feel me? Hate it or love it, bro. I fuck with you, you feel me? Hey, his girlfriend stole your tattoo, but, but I fuck with Derek Grace, bro. And I fuck with his wife, bro, because you feel me, like I said, man, you feel me? The, the these black women, bro, they 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 put in they put in joy into the black women that 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 deserves to be called black women. You feel what I'm saying? The ones that the 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 ones that 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 wants to show their full potential of feminicity, and, and they don't know how to do it, and they see this beautiful girl. You feel me? That came from nothing, locks in the head. You feel me? Tattoos on her face. And she's still doing it so elegantly and she's doing her thing, dripping. You feel me? So I respect that. I respect that. But even though I do respect that, we is going to be real. Grace, you know you got that from Young Pharaoh. You know you got that from Young Pharaoh, Grace. You know you did. And I don't know if you saw that. And you said, bro, I fuck with it. I finna get that, bait." And he was like, hell yeah. You feel me? Because like I said, Derek Grace, he got one. He got an eye horse right in the middle of his head. You feel me? So it's not like he don't know the legacy of our ancestors left behind. It's not like he's not aware and conscious of where his divinity comes from. You feel what I'm saying? So, you, I, I, I don't know what to say. You feel me? Because really, it, it's, it's not like he, they stole a logo from you. It's not like they, you feel me? But at the same time, hey, more, you know, you know where you got that queen. You feel me? If you didn't, hey, you feel me? But from outside looking in, that's what you did. You feel me? And I felt like you should have gave him his props know how you was gonna give him his props you feel me because if you want to be real with everything bro i don't you feel me you know you probably didn't want to give him his props because let's be real feral you know how you are you know how you know how young feral get y'all you know how young feral get uh you feel me he was going he was he was going he was going to blow that up just like how he blew it up now you feel what i'm saying so you know, it is what it is, man. That's the whole situation. But it's not done. We're not done yet. Oh, no. Looks like someone's mad. Go cry about it, bitch.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I just want to let you know that I heard that you've been talking some smack. And I just want you to know that I've been taking Taekwondo lessons in the back of the Walmart Super Center. So if you don't want to get hurt, then you better stop. Like I told you, Derek Grace, that Florida boy. You, you feel me? You know what? You know what's Florida boy? We ain't backing down for what? What? Stop playing. And, and, and that's how I feel like. That's how I feel like Derek Grace was doing it too. Like De I know Derek Grace was like. Man, Jit, stop playing with me, Jit. You already know I'll be rocking out here. <laughs> I ain't trying to listen. Listen, we ain't trying to start no fight. We ain't trying to start no fight. I told y'all. Hey, listen, I told y'all. Listen, I hope y'all sitting in y'all high frequency right now. Because this one right now, this drama that we bringing, it might knock a few little, it might knock a few frequency numbers down. I'm going to tell you right now, because, listen, I don't know, I can't, I I, I got to sit this one out, and I just want, I'm like, listen, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like the homeboy, I, listen, I'm like the third homeboy, you feel me, and we, and we at the house, and two homeboys, and, and the two of the homeboys start arguing, ready to fight, and I'm sitting there like this. You got Young Pharaoh talking about some, boy, I, I want to see you in the ring. I want to see you when it, then you got Derek Grace talking about some, boy, what you talking about, boy, I'm from Florida, boy, what you talking about, boy, boy, stand your ground, fuck a ring, boy, I'm going to put you down. Oh! 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 It's going down. Hey, what, yo, I want to see that. I want to see that. I really do. I want to see that. That would be that would be some shit. Young Pharaoh and Derek Grace in the ring. That's like celebrity death match. You feel me? No guns. No guns, Derek Grace. No guns. You feel me? I know, I know, I know you on that Florida boy shit. You feel me? You already know what it is, boy. I fuck with you. You feel me? Stand your ground. Nigga, we ain't finna play with it. But listen, real shit though. You feel all jokes aside. If y'all really, if you really ask me, you feel me? Um, This is entertainment. You feel me? By all means, do what y'all do for entertainment. Yeah, we want to see that fight. We want to see that fight because it's entertainment. Why can't we have, why can't we have our entertainment? You got Derek Grace and his wife. They got, they, they, they trying to, they trying to, they, they trying to have their own TV. They, they're trying to make their own TV channel or, or their own entertainment. You feel me? And you got Young Pharaoh that already has I in transportation and I in banking and he's known, well known. He's a he's a black leader in the in the in the content community. Let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. You feel what I'm saying? Let's just be honest. Especially right now, you can say what you want, but it is what it is. You feel me? It is what it is. A lot of conscious people saying that he's one of the black black leaders in the black community. Young Pharaoh, yes. That 25, 26-year-old, probably 27-year-old boy right now. You feel me? Don't know. I forgot how old he is, but you feel me? Still in his 20s. You feel me? And then you got Derek Grace. Came from the slums. He's not really in the conscious community, but... He's not no lecturer, you feel what I'm saying? But he's the businessman. And I really feel like if both of them two come together, you feel me? Both of them two come together with Derrick Grace and his business aspect, Young Pharaoh with that lecture turning, you feel me? That, 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 that fire, that fire, that revolutionary fire and starting his businesses. And then you got these two, these two all-stars in the black community get together and start collaborating and doing things instead of just fighting over a tattoo on a face. But we'll do big things. Y'all know how dangerous y'all would be? Y'all know how dangerous y'all would be. Super dangerous. You feel me? But that's just me. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm just, maybe... I'm going crazy. You feel me? But that's just the bigger picture that I see. You feel me? 
and Young Pharaoh is always talking about collabing with 50 Cent and this and that. And to be honest with you, I, man, fuck 50. Fuck 50. You feel me? If you want to collab with you, that cool. Fuck 50. You feel me? That nigga, that, that nigga was already dealing with them crackers anyway. You feel me? If you fuck with Derek Grace and, and, and y'all start making moves, you feel me? All these other, all these other black people, all these other black celebrities, leaders, and all these, and they see that, they gotta have no choice but to fall in line. But at the end of the day, like always, like all the greats, like all the greats, all the great black leaders, you feel me? They always start bickering because of their ego. You feel what I'm saying? Drop that ego, man. Y'all want to do that for entertainment? Y'all want to box it out for entertainment? Talk that shit on IG and all that for entertainment? That's cool. But at the end of the day, really, y'all really do need to have that sit down and, and, and say, bro, how we gonna how we gonna start building so we can start really putting some respect on the black culture for real for real so we can be known not just for no rapping chicken ring chicken rings and hot sauce and watermelon so we can be known for some real shit businesses trucking businesses entertainment black owned black owned black owned tv stations you feel what i'm saying the young people that's coming up right now, you feel me, that, that's watching Derek Grace and Young Pharaoh, watching y'all build and y'all do y'all things. So, you feel me? And they're so motivated to do it. And there's a lot of people just like me that, that, that's, that that's really like, yo, I'm going to do this. And that's really doing that. And now that we're seeing y'all do, now that we're doing it, we see y'all doing that, a lot of young people now going to see y'all bickering. And now when we become rich, we're not going to fuck with black people, other black people, because this is what we see on what's going on now. Like I said, if y'all want to do the entertainment shit, the entertainment shit, because I feel like this. You feel me? You can't get mad at Young Pharaoh for having fun and, and, and doing some ignorant ass shit. Because at the end of the day, y'all never said nothing to NLE Chopper when... He said that he was he that that he started doing all this little conscious stuff and selling sage and selling all these holistic products and 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 repping the and, and repping the conscious shit. But and then as soon as you hear that beatbox freestyle from him and you see the video, he out on South Beach somewhere in Miami getting his ding ding sucked by 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 a young queen degrading herself so she can be famous because she's sucking. LNE Chopper's ding ding, but he's conscious though. But now a lot of people saying, well, he's not conscious. He, he's really just a rapper. But okay, so now y'all, oh, why y'all fought in him and he wants to become conscious now? And then he does that and y'all don't give him nothing. Y'all should have, you, you know, y'all should have bashed him for that. Y'all should have, y'all should have demonized him for that, but y'all didn't. You feel me? But then when Young Feral come in you feel me y'all can't say oh shit you feel me shit he's still a black man from the hood why why the fuck he can't get rowdy like a nigga would you feel me and then when he do y'all get mad at that what the fuck that's crazy you feel me that that's called contradicting yourselves you feel me Y'all let an elite chopper pass with being conscious and then getting it and then and then degrading a young queen out in Miami getting a dick sucked and then talking all this crazy ass ignorant ignorant shit, destroying the kids' minds again. But and then this one comes in, but then young Pharaoh comes in and do his thing and you feel what I'm saying? That's what I don't get. You feel me? That was a side note coming back. Like I said, man, at the end of the day, you feel me? This all this that's going on right now is entertainment. You feel me? Is entertainment. So with that being said, let's get it. Let's get down to it.
Who did it better? Who did it better? Was it Young Pharaoh? Or was it more Grace? Who did it better? <laughs> Woo! If you want me to give you my honest opinion, it's going to suck. I feel like Young Phil was authentic. Young Phil was the first one to really do it. Even though I did see Plight do it. Shalom. Shalom to you, fam. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you put the light inside of a prison, the prison becomes the prism. Mm -hmm. And then the whole thing is about draining or extracting. But it wasn't a tattoo. It was makeup. But Young Pharaoh actually got it done. And I thought that shit was hard. I love the way that Young Pharaoh puts on for the melanin. He puts on for the ancestors. And I said that in my last episode of Real Niggas News when I was talking about him. Just look down there in the playlist and you'll see it. Young Pharaoh Exposed Part 2 and Part 1. Go watch him. But... I'm going to be honest. You feel me? When I saw it, I said, yo, that shit go hard. You feel me? It was. It, it could have been. I, I ain't like the little, the, the extra little bulky because you, you made the whole eye. He made the whole eye. You feel me? And, you know, to it, it, it made it just look like you had a black eye now. But I fucked with it. Then you got Grace. She came out with the simple boop. Boop, boop, just the lines. You feel what I'm saying? Elegant, grace, with grace. You feel me? So, I think when it comes to Young Pharaoh or more grace, who did that tattoo better? I mean, we got Young Pharaoh <clears throat> that came out first with the tattoo. Then we got more grace that came out with the remix of the tattoo, okay? So now, if you really want me to be honest, I think that they both was hot. When it comes to both tattoos, I don't think that there's no better and no worse ones. I really think that each one was amazing in its own way. And each one tells in 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 and believe it or not, I don't know, because I think in the detail, both those tattoos resembles their character. So th there couldn't be no better one. He, you feel me, young, when High Young Pharaoh looks with, with that tattoo on him, that boy looks like a, like, that boy looks like a comedic king. How does she look with that, with, with, with the eye on her? She looks like a comedic queen doing her thing. You feel what I'm saying? And and and, and both and, and both is on point. And I and, and and to be honest with you, even though she should have gave her she should have gave her shout out to Young Pharaoh, because you feel me, or at least you feel me, you know, call them behind the scenes and say, hey, bro, I'm about to get this tattoo. Please don't snap on me. I really like this tattoo. You feel me? Um. Um, you know what I mean? I don't want to really give you a shout out because I don't want to be no dick rider type shit like that. But this tattoo go hard. You feel me? And now it's confirmation now or something like that. You feel me? Yeah, I, even though she should have did something like that. You feel me? I'm happy she got the tattoo. That shit look hard. And, I, and, 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 and it looks amazing on her. You feel me? So with that being said. To say I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna down her and 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 and, and throw her out the window and just because I'm a part of the conscious community and she's not or I don't even know if they even a part of the conscious community because they don't let that side be shown because just like what Malcolm X said, you feel me? All what you believe should 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 stay in that closet. At the end of the day it's it's a, it's about it's about building our people back and like i said 
both of them two, both of those two, three, you feel me? Both, the, all three of them, you feel me? Young Pharaoh, Derek Grace, and more Grace, you feel me? Those two, those three are big icons in the black community. And to see them clash like that is, is not cool. I feel like that, you know, they, they, they could do bigger things if they just, you feel me, throw that ego away. But, you know, we just have to let time, let, let we have to let time tell. You know what I mean? And I and I feel like that'll be a dangerous, 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 dangerous combination right there. You feel me? Especially, especially with, you know, General Seti on the side. You feel me? Turning up with that knowledge. Bro, we'll turn, man, listen, that in, this empire that we're trying to build as a black community will be unstoppable. And so with that being said, this concludes the episode of Real Negus News. I hope that y'all liked it. I hope y'all liked this content that I came with y'all. If y'all do, y'all make sure y'all follow me on IG, Official Kareem Sativ. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe right here on Forever Lifted TV. Right here, man. Y'all already know. Hit that bell notification. Show your support. And let me know who you feel did it better. Let me know how do you feel about Young Phil snapping on General Seti like that. And also let me know, do y'all want to see that fight? Do y'all really want to see that fight between Young Phil and Derek Grace? Let me know in them comments below. You already know what it is, man. Until then, y'all make sure y'all stay forever lifted. Forever lift your minds, your vibes, and your consciousness.